To get started programming with blocks, first make a blocks.pad object. Look for signs of connection. If your pad block says not connected to any blocks, make sure your blocks pad is powered up and connected. If you see a yellow triangle in the top left corner of the blocks.pad, click it to turn it blue to give your pad focus. Switch to presentation mode by clicking on the icon in the bottom toolbar. Now let's make a blocks.toggle object. Drag it onto the blocks.pad. See the toggle show up on the pad. Touch the toggle. See how it lights up. Switch back to patching mode. Drag a sound out below the toggle, which makes a playlist. Lock the patch. Hit the loop icon on the playlist object. Unlock the patch. Connect a patch cord from the outlet of the blocks.toggle to the playlist object. Make an easy DAC tilde object. Connect a patch cord from the outlet of the sound to the inlets of the easy DAC. Lock the patch and turn on the Easy DAC. Touch the toggle to turn the sound on and off. Let's add a blocks.slider object in presentation mode. Drag it onto the blocks.pad. Switch back to patching mode. Add a gain tilde object. Repatch gain tilde into the signal path between the playlist and the easy DAC. Connect the output of the slider to the gain tilde with a patch cord. You can now control the volume of your sample. Switch to presentation mode. Expand blocks.pad. Add a blocks.multitouch object to scene 2 on the blocks pad. You can use the button on the side of the pad block to switch back and forth between scenes. Play with the multitouch in scene 2. Switch to patching mode and add a message box to see the output. Lots of numbers are output, but the important ones are X, Y, Z. We want to map X, Y, Z to a filter. Z to gain, Y to frequency, X to Q. This is complicated, so we made a snippet for you. You can drag the snippet, blocks low res, from the left-hand sidebar. Patch in the low res tilde between the sample and the gain objects. Hook up the z-axis scaled output to the gain tilde object. Try it out. You can use all of your blocks code inside Max for Live devices. We've taken the filter from the patcher we just made, and now we're using it in an audio effect in a Max for Live device.